Zaya is getting a little older now to where she doesn't really need her room to be in nursery mode. I just want to like zhuzh up her room a little bit. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Um, I'm really not even sure what this video is about to turn into. It's at least starting off as a little mini room makeover for Zaya's room. I'm currently standing in Zaya's room. Zaya is right here. Say what's up? Why you gotta get so close to the camera, little potato head? But yeah, so Zaya's room, it's not currently much different from her original room in my previous apartment when she was born. Well, I moved into that apartment before she was born, when I was pregnant. And I got a two bedroom apartment, and I got a two bedroom apartment because I wanted the other bedroom to be Zaya's nursery. And so I decorated it all cute before she was born. I was so excited. It actually did turn out pretty dang cute, if I do say so myself. And I have a whole video on my channel of just her room tour, if you guys never saw that. When I moved into this town home, I just basically took all the stuff out of that nursery and plopped it into this room and just like changed a few little things and added a few little things but really it's mostly the same in here i still have the same piece of furniture right here we still have the same dresser and she's still in her crib i'm actually trying to decide if i want to switch her crib to toddler mode because basically what you can do is you can take this part off or like lower it down and it turns into more of just like a little mini bed but then she will be able to get out of her bed whenever she wants and I won't be able to like barricade her in her crib like I'm used to doing and then she's probably gonna come in my room in the middle of the night and either scare me or just bother me and I won't be able to sleep it goes on your head boo boo like this can you put it on Okay. Good job. Wow, pretty. That's so cute. But yeah, so I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to change her crib into the toddler bed mode, but I'm considering doing that. And I just want to like zhuzh up her room a little bit. What are you doing? You playing dress up? But yeah, that's the thing too. Zaya is getting a little older now to where she doesn't really need her room to be in nursery mode. This is like the changing table dresser. As you can see, I have the little changing table thing on here where you change diapers, but she doesn't even wear diapers anymore. No more diapers, right? No more diapers. All gone. All gone. You wear panties now, right? The pull ups. And pull ups, yeah. You wear pull ups to bed. But no more diapers, no more laying down to change the diaper. No more diapers. So I really don't even need this thing at all. I definitely don't use it to get her dressed because like she's too big for it. Her legs like hang off this far off of it. Like she has outgrown kind of this phase of her life. So I'm like, honestly, I need to give this away. I need to use the dresser, like the top of the dresser for other stuff. And she's also old enough to actually come in here and like play dress up with all her little stuff. And she actually likes to sit in her little canopy, what I call like the little reading nook thing that I made. This is a baby towel. I honestly don't know why we still have these things. It's a blanket. It's a what? It's a blanket. A what? It's a blanket. A biscuit? Oh, a blanket. You said it's not a towel, it's a blanket? Blanket? No, it actually is a towel. It's just a soft towel because it's a baby towel. And I don't know why we still have all your baby towels in here and we don't use these at all. There's so much stuff in here that I just need to like change from baby mode to toddler mode and just get rid of stuff and give away stuff because literally this whole bin of baby towels, we don't use those, they're too small. We have a whole bin of swaddling blankets. <laughs> those are all your little baby blankets. Look how small it is, not even big enough to cover you. Oh, but this one's personalized, it says Zaya on it. <sighs> See, stuff like that, like I just wanna keep it as like mementos, although it's like 
she can't really use it as a blanket. I still have her rocking chair in here as well, which was in her original room and it was basically for breastfeeding and like rocking her to sleep when she was a baby. Now I do still use it and I sit in it and we read bedtime stories in this chair at night. So that still gets used. I also have these little shadow box things, which I never ended up hanging up on the wall when I moved in here. These were in her original nursery and I clipped some of her ultrasound pictures to it. And then this one says sweet dreams. There's three of those. I just never ended up hanging these up in here. I was gonna put them over here on the wall, but I just never did. These are a little DIY from the original nursery video. If you guys watched that, these little dream catchers. Now you're just making a big mess. Are you gonna put all those away? No. No? Yes, you have to put them away too. When you make a mess, you have to clean up the mess too. Her closet is really not much. It's kind of empty to be honest. I was gonna make like a little toddler clothing organization video and I started filming it, but I gave up because it was literally just me putting together this little shoe shelf and putting her shoes on it and that was it. I did get rid of her diaper pail. She had a cute little pink diaper pail, like specifically a diaper pail for the dirty, dirty diapers. But I got really frustrated with it because it was just so dirty and nasty and stinky from like two years of putting dirty diapers in there that I ended up just throwing the whole thing away and just replacing it with a regular little trash can. So since she does still wear pull-ups to bed, I have this here just for like the pull-ups or other random trash. But we got rid of the actual like tall diaper pail. Um, and that's really it. I purchased these little things from Target literally like a few weeks ago at this point and I never did anything with them or hung them up. They were in the baby section. Um, one of them has, uh, how did these scissors get right here? What? I've been looking for these scissors. What in the world? Zaya, I know you did not go in my drawer and get my scissors and bring them in here and get them stuck. Did you do that? Yeah. Why did you do that? You know you're not supposed to be playing with scissors or going through my drawer. Um. Well, anyway, I have to open this to be able to get these freaking little scissors out of here. But you can see on the little picture that they're just little things that you hang on the wall. One of them has like a little chalkboard on the front of it. I'm also just like kind of hesitant to do anything super special in terms of upgrading her room in here because as you guys know i am in the process of building a home and of course i'm going to be decorating her room in that home as well and of course i can transfer things over like i can take stuff out of this room and put it in that room but it's just like now that I know that I'm building a home, it's like I don't even want to put effort into my current home. Because <laughs> I'm just like, can we just skip over this and get to the, the real home, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. But I still have like a whole year of living in this town home until my other home is built. So it's like kind of a long time that I probably should like still put some effort into this town home. So I think the first thing I really gotta do is just get rid of all the baby stuff that I know she doesn't need. So first thing is this changing table. It, it hurts me to let it go because it feels like we're just letting go of like Zaya being a baby But I really don't use this at all anymore. She doesn't need it. So literally just this whole entire thing is gonna go I'm gonna put it in my laundry room for now because that's where I keep like all the stuff that I want to give away Which by the way, ha ha ha, I have literally one, two, three diaper boxes full of stuff plus a Target bag back here This is probably just like six months and up. It might even just be like 12 months and up actually because her baby baby stuff, like her newborn stuff up to probably at least nine, I don't even know. I already like gave that stuff away a while back but this is just like the newer stuff that I've been accumulating. Obviously I need to give it away, find someone who really needs it or whatever. I'm hesitant to just give it to Goodwill because Goodwill is like low key kind of a scam. More on that later but yeah, so this is just boxes and boxes of baby stuff that I need to give away and now we're adding the changing table. So yeah, I typically just use the diaper boxes or whatever to hold all the stuff that I'm giving away. What are you doing? Are you gonna help me? So I have this um, box from her pull-ups. So I'm just going to, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to, are you helping me or are you making a bigger mess? I'm going to start off by putting all of her old baby towels and baby blankets into the box because we literally don't need any of these. 
and I'm sure there are other babies out there who could really use them, even though they hold a lot of memories. <laughs> Some of these towels I don't think were ever used though, to be honest. Okay, so we got one empty bin. This one has the baby blankets in it. I'm gonna keep this one that has her name on it. What does that say? That's not very nice. I closed it. You closed it? Yeah. But I wanted you to look at it and see what it says. What's that? Z. Uh, Zaya. This is an extra sheet for her crib, so I'm gonna keep that. But all these little swaddling blankets, we don't need. Okay, so that's that one empty. This one has a dryer sheet, <laughs> extra sheet. This is for the changing table, actually, so that goes away with that and then I'll put the extra crib sheets back in here we're keeping that but that's already the whole pull-up box full of towels blankets and the changing table cover things so this moves to the laundry room oh hi mystery boxes how are y'all doing looking good those active followers are waiting for you um yeah in case you haven't heard I'm giving away mystery boxes full of products hair products makeup products all types of products to my active followers who show love on all of my social media, so, you know. That's my Barbie snacks? No, those are not your Barbie snacks. Those are the Barbie snacks for the winners. Ooh. We're sharing them with the followers. Ooh. You have your own downstairs, remember? Yes. <laughs> ten, ten, ten. You have 10 books? Yes. I think you have more than 10. Let's see what clothes I have up here that I need to get rid of. Honestly, actually, I think a lot of this stuff still fits. That's hanging right here. Some of it's kind of new. This is pretty new, new, new. This is her little mini limited edition rose gold shamble shirts. One of a kind, I got a special one because I did not make these in kid sizes in the rose gold, but comment down below if you guys Think I should first of all bring this style back because they all sold out even the in the adult sizes but if you guys would like kid sizes in these pink shamble shirts let me know I'm actually keeping these little fancy dresses so this is the dress that she wore for her second birthday party most recently this is her first fancy dress right here that she wore when she was like three months old I took pictures of it and this is her first Christmas dress this red dress so I'm keeping these just for memories you know I think it would be cool one day to have them like hanging somewhere like in order like really I need to put this one behind this one but like see how like the dresses get bigger and bigger and then it'll lead all the way up to her prom dress <laughs> over here this is something I was trying to keep but it got so freaking destroyed I'm so sad I need to just take the little papers off so basically this was a little thing that I um, had made for her baby shower and it was like a clothesline so a string went across and then I had these little mini clothes pins and I cut out these little paper onesies and everybody who came to my baby shower wrote like little notes on them and pinned them up onto the little clothes lines and it was so cute and I tried to keep it but it got destroyed so now I think I'm just gonna take um, the little notes off that people wrote and just save the little notes themselves maybe make like a scrapbook page out of them I also have some other random like party decorations in here from baby shower first birthday and that honestly needs to go in a different box in the garage. What are you doing? I just hear somebody dialing numbers behind me. Hello? Zaya, you are such a character. I don't know what I want to number one. Huh? Goodbye. What? Just pretend. Don't actually call anybody, please. So I have these little gold glitter letters on top of her little shelf thing right here. I made these in that last video that I was referencing. Um, it's just a quick little DIY, but they keep toppling over because I just have them literally just like perched up here with nothing. And it keeps like, especially the Y because it's like round, it keeps like rolling over and it's so creepy when it falls down by itself. So I think I actually want to stick them up on the wall. And then I need to figure out if I'm going to hang these up or get rid of them or what. So in these boxes that I just took out of her closet, these are like her first little keepsake boxes. This one has like literally the blanket that she was brought. 
Excuse me. Please don't turn that on. Thank you. Keep it off. <laughs> Anyways, this has literally the um, blanket that she was brought home from the hospital in, her first birthday candle, her first little outfits, little bib, like just little cutesy stuff from when she was like a newborn. That got full. So I had started putting stuff in this bigger box and this has like a little custom little bloomers, her little booties. These are her first little booties. Oh my goodness gracious. Her first hospital hat. So I just started adding stuff to this box. So these are like her first little shoes. She actually literally never wore these on her feet ever. They were just like sitting in her nursery as like decoration basically. But those were the first, I think my mom bought her these as like, these were the first shoes that were ever purchased for Zaya basically. She has her original shambles onesie in here. Also she had a black version of the onesie. Her first birthday genie outfit goes in here. Yes, it's yours, but I'm putting it away for safekeeping, okay? Mine. Yeah. That's one of your first little blankies. That's a special blankie. Yeah, this blankie was a gift at her baby shower. It's embroidered with her name on it, and it's super, like, a nice blankie. So that's pretty much it in terms of her little keepsakes. So I just have two boxes. This one and that other one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in her closet. So I took the little baby shower thing apart. These are all the little clothes pins. I'll keep these. Don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with them, but they're worth keeping in my little craft box or whatever. And these are all the little notes that people wrote for me at my baby shower. I'm probably gonna like glue them to a page and make like a little scrapbook page like I said. Zaya, you will grow up to be a combo of some great women. Love, Jayla. Oh my God, Jayla. And then also in her closet, I had this little DIY, which was from her original nursery video. It's a little glitter sign that I painted or whatever. Though she be but little, she is fierce. It's a little busted now, cause it's been through some things. So, as much as it pains me, I think it's time to Maybe get rid of it. Meanwhile, Zaya has made a big mess because the only way to keep her occupied is to make a mess, basically. Okay, so here's what I did so far. I put her gold glitter letters up on the wall above the little tassel thing. I just hung it up with that stuff, that sticky stuff that they use in schools to hang up stuff so it won't be damaging the wall. And then I left the tassel and these things where they're at. I added the little baskets over here and like a little diagonal. Like I said, one of the baskets had like a little chalkboard. So I have these little um, chalkboard pins and I just drew a rain cloud for Zaya Rain. But you can erase that and put whatever you want. So I don't know, maybe I'll change it. But I have an idea for these little baskets cause they had it pictured like on the box with like little baby blankets and little baby books and little baby stuff. But I think it would be cute to put fake flowers like just coming out of the baskets, like the same type of fake flowers that I have over here which I don't know anything about flowers. I don't even know what this type of flower is called, but I think they're really pretty. I got these at Michael's and just put them in the vase. So I think I wanna go back to Michael's and get some more flowers and put them, you know, some different flowers in each little basket. So it's more of like a decoration rather than like a storage thing. I just have her two little dream catchers. I actually ended up just hanging both of them, like layering them. I think it looks kind of cool hanging over there on the other side. And then over here, I hung up two of the little shadow boxes and I took off her ultrasound pictures cause that's like super newborn baby stuff. I put the ultrasound pictures in her um, keepsake box and I want to print out some more recent pictures of us to hang in there so I need to print those out I've also decided let me get this hammer I've decided that I want to put some other little decorative something up on the shelf to kind of fill up this space like a little statue a, a little like I don't even know like something similar like this little bunny piggy bank that I have over here I want something similar like that to just place right here to fill up that space. And then I also need another one to put in this little empty box right here. So I need like two little figurines of some sort to finish this off. And I was just about ready to say, you know what? I think I am ready to change her crib into a toddler bed, but I realized that it's not actually just as simple as taking off this front thing. There's actually like a whole separate piece that you have to buy separately to go with it, to change it into a toddler bed. And it's a lot more involved than I thought it was. 
so I don't even have the separate piece this crib was gifted to me by the company so I don't even know if they still make it I have to look it up but she might be staying in this crib in crib mode until we move into the new house until I actually buy her a whole separate bed so for now it's gonna still have to be the crib but I definitely want to go to home goods or something and just try to get you know like I said a few more things to go over here and then also now this whole dresser is gonna be empty on top this is just obviously all my junk right now but since I'm not using it as a changing table anymore it's gonna be empty except for her little oil diffuser and her white noise machine which I have now properly placed over here instead of where it was like plugged in sitting on the chair over here so those two little things are gonna be the only things that live on here unless I can find something else to put on top I don't really feel like I necessarily need to but I don't know we'll see what I can find do you like what I did with your wall up here I put your name up there yeah. you like it and here comes Aya right back again, ready to make another mess after I just cleaned the floor. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I dropped Zaya off at preschool this morning and then I went to Michael's and Home Goods to kind of just get the rest of the few things that I kind of wanted to finish off her little mini room makeover. So at Home Goods, I pretty much got really lucky and I found like pretty much exactly what I was looking for, which you know with home goods, it's kind of like hit or miss. So the first thing that I saw is this piggy bank. It's a pink unicorn with a gold horn and it's a little piggy bank, so it has a little coin slot right here. But I just like it from this side to just kind of be a little statue to put on her shelf over there. So I felt like that was perfect. Zaya really likes unicorns these days. And then I found this really pretty picture frame. It's like a blush pink up here and then like a metallic gold detail at the bottom, which I just thought was so cute. And it's a really nice, like thick, sturdy photo frame. This was $7.99, the piggy bank was $9.99. So in terms of what photo I wanna put in here, as well as the other photos that I was talking about in those little shadow boxes over there, I decided that I actually don't wanna put like pictures of Zaya or pictures of me and Zaya, just because, I don't know, I just feel weird about like, having family photos hung up in your house it just kind of creeps me out and bothers me and i just really don't like having like actual photos of my face hanging in my house i don't know let me know if that's like a thing like do y'all feel that way too like it's just weird to me so i would prefer to just have like some other type of artwork or some type of text or like a cute little saying so i think i'm gonna make my own little something like I'll write a cute quote or make some type of little artwork to go in here and to go in the little shadow boxes instead of like getting family photos printed out and the last thing that I got from home goods is this pillow which really was not needed but I couldn't resist especially after I already got this little unicorn thing it is a blush pink pillow with a metallic unicorn detail and it has little star sparkles on it and it says magic is all around us and i just thought that was so cute it matched the whole theme of her room and i just had to get it this was 16.99 which i was kind of like uh for something that i really don't need to be getting i really don't need to be spending 17 dollars on it either but i couldn't resist it was too cute so i'm just putting this in her bed and then from michael's i got the fake flowers that i wanted to put on the wall over here like i said and then i also got a couple of other random stuff for my own personal diy project for something that i'm putting in my bedroom so you guys will see that later whenever i post my full townhome tour you guys will see what i'm making for my bedroom later but as for Zaya's room I just got all these fake flowers I really got like way too many now that I'm actually looking at like how many I probably needed I think this is like probably way too many so I might actually end up like returning one of these things so I'm gonna put the unicorn right here and then I'm gonna put the photo frame right here in this little empty square over here in these little baskets is where I just want to put like the fake flowers just hanging out of the basket so I got my little wire cutters I'm just gonna be cutting the stems cutting flowers off of here and just arranging them in the baskets so this um, little bouquet is like all connected down here so I'm gonna cut each individual like thing off with these wire cutters and then I'm just gonna start like arranging them oh let me take the sticker off
Okay, so I think I actually like it just like this. I literally only used one of the bouquet of flowers that I bought. So I have this whole big one, two of these little ones, and then this giant one that I didn't even use and I don't think I'm gonna need them so I'll probably just return them back to Michaels. So yeah, I literally just stuck some in the top, some like through these little things through the front of it and just kind of divided them up and I think that looks really cute actually. So here's a little hack if you're ever making something to go inside of a photo frame, all you gotta do is open it to get the you know exact size that you need for the thingy. Since mine's brand new, it still has like the little cardboard and the little whatever thing in there. So I can literally use this as like a size reference for what I need to go inside of here. So I've got like some cardstock paper and I can trace this little insert to get my exact size. So I'm just gonna take a pencil first to trace out what I wanna write. And I'm gonna put, though she be but little, she is fierce because I still really like that quote and we didn't end up using my original DIY with that quote. So I'm gonna put it on here. So I literally just did like a little rough sketch of what I'm gonna write. I want this to be kind of like messy. Ooh, I already got some paint splatter on it. So it's definitely gonna be messy. I just want it to look like very like brushy and handwritten. So I'm just gonna use this little brush and some little black paint. Ta-da! Nothing special, but I think it's gonna look cute in the little picture frame. So I'm just gonna make two more little things like that for the other two little shadow boxes. I had to move inside, it was too hot. But here is what I made, literally just three pieces of little paper, painted with a small paintbrush. I put Barbie snacks and milk in a cup, cause you know. And then I put a little kind of cliche quote, but I do like this quote. She believes she could, and so she did. And then the though she be but little, she is fierce. So I'm just gonna put this one, it's nice and dry now. I'm gonna put this one in the frame. And then the other two will go in the shadow boxes and then that'll be the finished room. Okay guys, so here is Zaya's finished room. You know, a little bit revamped, not a full makeover or anything, but I'm actually pretty proud about how it came out. I think it looks really cute in here. Obviously most of the stuff is still the same, but I still think the little changes that I added really kind of just, you know, finished it off. So just to give you guys a little tour, we still have, of course, the rocking chair over here, same blanket, same pillow. The pillow I know is from Target. The blanket I think is from Home Goods, and the chair itself is actually from Target as well. Above the chair, we have my DIY dream catchers. I hung both of them up, just kind of layered on top of each other, and I have a video for that. You guys can check that out in the down bar. Then over here, we have her crib. Her crib was gifted by a company. I will put the name down below. Like I said, I wasn't able to turn it into a toddler bed like I I hoped but that's okay she can still sleep in the crib and when we get in our new house she will definitely have a big girl bed but I just have her favorite pink blankie in there I'm not even sure where that's from it's from before she was born and the new pillow that I got from home goods magic is all around us with the little unicorn above the crib we have the two pieces of artwork which is the same both of those are from home goods above that we have the tassel which I had made by somebody on Etsy for Zaya's baby shower actually it was a decoration and I just kept it and then above that we have my DIY glitter wooden letters I got the actual wooden letters from Michaels and I just painted them gold and put glitter on them it's really simple so I feel like the wall looks a lot more balanced out now because it actually kind of like fills up more of the space and then over here of course we have the three basket set that I got, the mint green wall basket thingies which I actually just hung on the wall with thumbtacks because Honestly, I was being lazy. It came with like screws to really screw it in the wall if you wanted to like secure it to like actually put books and stuff in there. But since I was just putting these little fake flowers, I just used thumbtacks. And the set of three baskets came from Target. It was actually in their baby section. And then of course, like you guys saw, I got these fake flowers from Michaels and just arranged them in the basket. And I think that came out really cute. That's actually like my favorite little thing that I added in here. So that is that wall. I really like it. I think all the colors coordinate really well with the mint green and the pink and the gold. Also down here, I just have her same little white, well, I mean, it used to be pure white. <laughs> this little shag rug is from Home Goods, I believe, as well. Honestly, mm, 
It's seen better days. Over here in the corner is just her laundry hamper, which is from Target, complete with actual dirty clothes. And then we have her dresser, which was gifted by the same company. It's like from the same set, which used to be used as a changing table, but it's not a changing table anymore. It's literally just a dresser. And on top of it, I just have her white noise machine, which helps her sleep. You guys have heard me say that a billion times. And um, an oil diffuser to put like lavender essential oils and stuff in there to help her sleep as well. And I can link these to things down below you can get them on Amazon the brass curtain rod and the actual blackout curtains are all from Amazon so I will link all of that down below so that is the whole little area over there with the windows and the dresser and then over here in the corner is just her same canopy that she always had this canopy I got from Ikea actually and it's just screwed into the ceiling and underneath there I have another little well big pillow actually from ikea as well and then some decorative pillows these are the same ones since her original nursery um these are both from target hip hip hooray and oh happy day i think those are so cute and these two little stuffed animals are from target as well all this stuff she has had since before she was born so that's like her little reading corner princess canopy area and then over here we have the little cubby shelves this cubby shelf unit is is from Ikea it was a hand-me-down from my mom from a while back it used to be in my mom's office um, and most of the stuff on here is still the same as you guys saw this is a DIY from her original nursery video this is a DIY from her original nursery video I told you guys about my friend who painted this this is also a quick little DIY I painted this pot and put some flowers in it the bunny piggy bank is from home goods a while back And then you guys saw the unicorn piggy bank that I just got in this video from home goods as well I told you guys about this flower pot DIY from Michaels the lamp is from Target I believe this little mirror right here is a DIY from a long time ago. This used to be like in my college dorm room It's a mirror that I like stole out of my mom's house a long time ago, and I painted it gold Oh, and then of course the little DIY that I just finished for the little picture frame I think this turned out so cute as well as the shadow boxes up here she believes she could and so she did Barbie snacks and milk in a cup the actual little boxes are from Target these ones and these ones are from Target these hold all of her like headbands and hair clips and little hats and kind of like dress up stuff. And then there's really not anything in here anymore because I got rid of all her baby blankets and stuff. So I do really feel like this whole little section looks a lot more put together now. It just looks more complete. Oh, and off to the side of this, these were already here, but these are just two little um, hooks that I got from Target as well. They're gold with like a little marble thing right there and i just use these to hang her little jackets on there and as for the closet not much to look at in here but it is nice and clean we have her little shoe shelf which is from amazon i'll link that down below for you guys we have some of her clothes hanging up i also get these little mini toddler felt hangers off of Amazon so I can link those. We've got her keepsake boxes which has all her baby stuff. But yeah you guys, that is Zaya's entire room. I think it turned out really good. I'm pretty proud of myself if I do say so myself. Y'all know I just love these colors. I love mint green, light pink, white, and gold. That is like my thing and now I have made it Zaya's thing. She has no choice but you know, I think she likes it too. You like your room? It's all clean and Decorated. You like it? Look, you have new artwork. I like your room. This is now a toddler room and not a newborn baby room. Aww. It's all gone, boo boo. I cleaned her closet a little bit. Wow, look at your closet. But we just have that one because it's special because it has your name on it. Yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. I'm literally sweating. I broke a sweat trying to get this room together. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you like it? Should I change anything? Add anything? Let me know. Also, don't forget we're going to be doing this all again um, before you know it in my new house making Zaya's new room in my new house. So get excited for that. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can follow me on my house building journey with all of that but in the meantime i'm just trying to like live in the moment and still just 
you know enjoy this current townhome that i live in so i am really happy that i kind of like got this room together because we are still going to be living here for like a whole nother year so yeah comment down below let me know what you think make sure you're subscribed and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in my townhome before we get to the point of doing it in the new home and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye